Good afternoon to all the participants that are joining the webinar this afternoon. I am Amirul Hakim, a medical student from Unimas, and together with me are Esmeralda Mihan and Mirza Izati. Our supervisor is Professor Dr. Gabriel, and co-supervisors are Professor Dr. Mizanur and Associate Professor Dr. Khaldun. I would like to thank Dr. Khaldun to give us the opportunity to present our research today entitled Perceptions on Awareness, Knowledge and Confidence in Providing Information and Management of Snake-Related Injuries by Medical Students in Sarawak, Malaysia. This study was initially done to fulfill the university elective course and currently had been approved for publish in the Medicine and Health Journal. So this is the outline for today's presentation. The World Health Organization, WHO, has categorized snake-related injuries as a neglected tropical disease which can cause permanent disability or worse, can lead to death if not treated timely and appropriately. In 2019, the WHO estimated around 4.5 to 5.4 million snake bite cases worldwide annually. In Malaysia, the Ministry of Health acknowledged the importance of identifying Malaysian snake species for appropriate treatment and addressed the lack of data on snake bites in Malaysia. Snakes of medical importance that are usually found in Malaysia are from the Ilapidae, Viperidae, Colubridae and Phytonidae families, and the most commonly encountered species are Naja Kautia and Naja Sumatrana. The public's awareness in Malaysia has been initiated by Remote and Venomation Consultancy Services Rex, and the Malaysian Society of Toxinology MST, but awareness among medical students remain vague. Medical students are exposed to snake bites patients predominantly in their clinical years and depending on the location of their medical postings. Hence, the study aimed to determine the perception of awareness, knowledge, and confidence level in providing instructions among Unimas medical students regarding snake-related injury and to compare the difference in perception between preclinical and clinical medical students. Besides addressing the perceived knowledge gap, this study would allow students to explore and generate interest in the importance of health-seeking behavior after a snake-related injury and ways to seek appropriate knowledge regarding SRI. For our materials and method, the study was designed as quantitative cross-sectional questionnaire study where it uh, conducted from December 2020 to April 2021. For study setting, it was conducted at Faculty of Medicine and Health Science Unimas at Kota Samarahan, Sarawak. For study population, it involves 737 medical students of medical faculty at Unimas. And then, for the sample size, we use Kretzi and Morgan formula, where it involved 169 samples of preclinical student at Unimas and 205 samples of clinical student at uh, Unimas. And then, uh, the data was collected uh, through Google Form, and then the question error was measured using Likert scale. For data entry and analysis, the data were directly stored in Microsoft Excel Office 2019 and then imported to IBM SPSS 2020 for further analysis. Alright, so we're moving on to our results. So majority of our respondents are female compared to male, and they age between 21 to 22 years old. So as you can see in the graph, majority of our respondents are from the preclinical and early clinical years, which is year 3 and year 4. As you can see, Clinical students' perceptions on awareness are higher compared to preclinical students, for example, SRI as a medical emergency, minimizing SRI complications by using appropriate first aid, and the awareness on the existence of International Snake Bite Awareness Day. Clinical students' perception on confidence level is higher compared to preclinical students in terms of performing basic life support, how to manage the affected eyes after a snake venom, 
has been sprayed into them and also providing important history details that needs to be obtained following SRI. Clinical students' perception on confidence level is higher compared to preclinical students in terms of performing basic life support, how to manage the affected eyes after a snack venom has been sprayed into them, and also providing important history details that needs to be obtained following SRI. To summarize, the perceptions of clinical students on awareness, knowledge, and confidence level in providing information and management of snack related injuries are higher compared to preclinical students. For discussion, we have explored awareness of public health measures, such as awareness of existing risk management support system like remote evaluation and consultancy services, and acknowledge the effort of World Health Organization in commemorating September 19 as International Snack Bite Awareness Day. Secondly, we have discussed the level of perceived knowledge that may differ from one population of medical students to another population of medical students. So this may be due to exposure of clinical settings along with the precise significance of basic first aid measures, for example, like pressure bandaging. Thirdly, we have explored the level of perceived confidence level differs from clinical student and preclinical student. This is possibly due to the exposure to snake bite uh, snake-related injury during clinical postings and experience of handling first aid measures like pressure bandaging. Now, in conclusion, medical students are still lacking in the knowledge, awareness, and confidence level in providing instruction on the appropriate safety and health-seeking behavior for snake-related injury, although the clinical medical students' perception are slightly better compared to the preclinical student as they might have been exposed to the clinical settings or encounter snake bite cases but not a formal lecture on snake bite management. Hence, there is a need to recommend the integration of snake bite management to be included in the curriculum of uh, UNIMAS so that we can prepare medical students for their practice as future doctors. For further reading, the study has been accepted for publication and can be accessed for those who are interested. That's all from us. Thank you.